In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create and distribute a self-grading assessment on any web browser. First, you will navigate to the location you'd like to store the assessment. We recommend starting in My File so that you will have access to the assessment year after year. Then, select the Actions drop-down at the top of the left column and choose Add Assessment. Provide a name for the assessment. Be as specific as possible to prevent confusion for you or your students. Then enter instructions for the assessment. Perhaps you'd like to provide information about where study materials are or special guidelines for the assessment. Additionally, you can provide a web address to any website within the instructions field. Then set your due date and time that the assessment should be completed. And finally, determine whether you want to allow late turn-in. If this is more of a homework assessment, you may want to allow late turn-in. If this is an in-class quiz, you might want to disable the late turn-in. After making all necessary adjustments to this screen, click the Add in the lower right. Locate your new assessment folder and click the name to open the assessment page. Tap the Create Assessment button to launch the assessment generator. Adjust your assessment settings. Allow one or multiple attempts. Shuffle the order of questions so that the quiz is not in the same order for multiple attempts. Allow students to revisit answered questions. Allow students to skip questions without answering. Then adjust your feedback settings. You may provide scoring and feedback immediately after each question is answered. You may also provide scoring and feedback after the student submits the completed assessment. You may disable feedback initially and then re-enable it so that the student can receive scoring and feedback when you are ready to release that information. Provide general feedback for all students to view after submitting the assessment regardless of score. Then choose Next at the bottom of the page. Select the Add Question drop-down to select your question type, Multiple Choice, True False, or Yes No. Set the point value for the question. You may set a different value for each question. Determine if the question is an extra credit question. An incorrect response will not affect the score. Add your question content. Then provide choice information. Determine if you'd like to shuffle the order of your answer choices. You would probably want to set this to off if you have all of the above or none of the above as an option. Allow multiple choices to be selected if students are choosing all correct responses from a list. Enter in your answer choices. For the correct response or responses, switch the red button to green by clicking on it. Provide feedback for individual responses. And add additional answer choices as needed. Enter question feedback that all students will see regardless of their answer choice. This would be a great place to direct the students to a website or page number that has more information about the question. Then save the question. Add as many questions as needed to complete your assessment. Then select the close button in the upper right corner. Copy the assessment to your class folders to share with the students. Then switch the Allow Taking Assessment button to Yes. Until this is switched to Yes, your students will see the assessment page, but they will be unable to take the assessment. See our Taking Assessment video to see how students take the assessment or our Viewing Assessment Results video to learn how to view student results.